one of the, one of the hardest parts of my job. What? Is the sort of flip flopping? People always say, "Oh, you tell us one thing one That's day." That's right. And then, oh my God, eggs are day. terrible for you. Eggs <laughs> right. are great for you. This is the, terrible for you. This is wonderful for you. No, right. Nothing worse for the flip flops than than coffee. Mm. It's one of the big health flip flops. Is it good for you? Is it bad for you? Most people don't know. And it's interesting. Back in the 1600s, mm -hmm. it was the panacea. I mean, this stuff could cure really all all problems. You know. And then you get to the 1700s, and you realize that British women actually thought coffee made their men impotent. So oh, they, yes. don't want that? Don't want that, absolutely <laughs> not. You don't get to have your coffee. 1800s, it got even worse. They thought it was as bad as cocaine. Oh that, my gosh. It was actually treated like that. Wow, so because you would get the shakes and You get the shakes, right. and it was really addictive. And there is some, you know, because of the, the caffeine, there is some addictiveness to it. But it was only over the last, you know, 100 years or so where people now refer to coffee as basically a health food. It, it has all these different properties that can decrease your so chance of heart disease. So coffee is okay for It's you. good for you, yes. So in you moderation. Can, you can have it, yes. Okay. In but actually, you know what? Let, 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 me, let me tell you, um, in terms of moderation here, people always ask how much. And these are about eight ounce cups, I think. Yep. So we're actually going to use four of them. Right, and, if you didn't uh, fill it all the way up to the fill top. It all the way, all right. It'll be about eight. All yep. right, yep. You probably got better sense of uh, measurement than I do. So you can have four cups of coffee? Four cups of coffee, and that's a, here, let's fill that one up. It feels a little left. <laughs> about 100 milligrams of, of, uh, of caffeine in each of these, and, and about 400 milligrams is going to be. Are you a the, coffee drinker? I like coffee sometimes, I like yeah. coffee at the beginning of the day. I, I love the aroma of it. The rest of the day, I switch to tea. I love tea. Well, oh, good. Yeah, well, it keeps, some... my, keeps my hands warm, and it's kind of relaxing. I, I think I think tea is fantastic, mm. and if you're if you're looking for caffeine, without the coffee, right? Tea is going to be your best bet. Oh, mine's an herbal tea, but yeah, yeah, I would drink a caffeinated well, tea, sure, tea certainly. Tea. But look, four cups, 400 milligrams. Here's where you get into trouble. The sugar and the milk, right? Yes, I know, and that makes me the bad guy. I realize, but in fact, if you're drinking four cups of black coffee like this, you're getting a lot of benefit from a health perspective. You'll still get the benefit if you add this other stuff, but now you're getting all the extra calories. And you're, you're getting, getting extra right. stuff. Luckily, I was poor for a really long time, so I got used to black coffee because I couldn't afford the milk that I Served you well. Served you well. Uh, but tea is a great alternative, too, of course. All kinds of different flavors, good caffeine. The, the, the diet drinks and the, and the sugary drinks, again, the sugary drinks can be really problematic. It's really interesting, the diet sodas for, for caffeine, because I used to do this, and then I read the studies about how it can actually influence your, your microbiome. Wow. It changes it. So you're not getting the calories, but you're starting to get the, the, the problems with your microbiome. So coffee, tea like you're doing, I think pretty good. Bet.